Hi, myself Triveni, working as assistant professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry at Raghavendra Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Raipur, Autonomous, Anantapur. In this lecture, I am going to explain evidences in the derivation of the structure of the benzene. The evidences like analytical evidences, synthetic evidences and other evidences in the derivation of the structure of benzene and after that we will see calculate structure for benzene, orbital picture of benzene, a resonance in benzene and resonance energy of the benzene. Let us see one by one. First one analytical evidences. With the help of elemental analysis and molecular weight determination benzene had the molecular formula is C6H6. With the help of elemental analysis we can find we can found carbon percentage is 92.26 percentage and hydrogen percentage is 7.74 percentage. It indicates that benzene was a highly unsaturated compound compared it with n-hexane. n-hexane molecular formula is C6H14. This is the structure of n-hexane. So with this evidence we can find out molecular formula for benzene is C6H6 and other than this we can also find molecular formula for benzene with the help of FTIR and NMR spectroscopy. FTIR stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. With the help of FTIR spectroscopy we can find out the functional groups in unknown compounds. Aromatic compounds shows characteristic IR spectrum. For example, aromatic CH stretching will be observed at 3030 cm inverse. Here we can observe a sharp peak. And aromatic C double bond C stretching observed at 1500 to 2000 cm inverse. And aromatic CH bending observed at 650 to 1000 cm inverse. This can be used to determine substitution pattern also. For example, CH bending for different substitutions. We will see here the examples. For mono substitution, the IR value, the regions are 690 to 710 or it may be 730 to 770. For dye substitutions, the regions like 735 to 770 cm inverse. For, uh, for meta dye substitution, we can find out IR peaks at 690 to 710. For para dye substitution, we can find IR peak at 790 to 840 cm inverse. Next coming to the H1 or proton NMR spectroscopy. Here, with the help of NMR spectroscopy, we can find out uh, how many number of protons present in the compound, unknown compound. The aromatic protons are highly deshielded due to the ring current. For example, assume that benzene have aromatic characters. So, for aromatic components, the CH protons will be present from 6.5 to 8.5 ppm parts per million. For alkenes, unsaturated compounds, alkenes, we can find out CH protons in the scale from 4.6 to 5.7 ppm. And uh, this is in a spectra for NMR. In this spectra, we can see the scale from 0 to 10. And here in the structure, the, uh, in this structure, we can find out the aromatic protons. And this is uh, blue color, sky blue color. This is one proton. This is one proton. And the pink colors, we can find out uh, four aromatic protons. And the ranges, we can see here, um, the aromatic protons will be present 6.5 to 8.5 ppm. So, with this analytical evidences, we can tell that benzene had the molecular formula C6H6. Next coming to the synthetic evidences. The aromatic characteristics include 
resistant to oxidation and addition that is hydrogenation and aromatic compounds mainly undergoes substitution reactions we will see the examples stride chain alkenes it is in one of the stride chain alkene propene propene undergoes addition reaction with hbr the hydrogen will be attached to the this carbon atom first carbon atom the bromine atom will be attached to the next carbon atom second carbon atom thereby it forms the isopropyl bromide in the second case the propene will be reacted with water in presence of h2so4 then it gives h plus and oh minus and the one of the h hydrogen proton will be attached at this position first position the oh group will be attached at the second position it gives the isopropyl alcohol then propene reacts with chlorine atom and here addition of chlorine will be taken place two chlorine atoms will be attached at first and second position it gives the 1,2 dichloropropane we will see another example here cyclohexene it is in a cyclic alkene when cyclic alkene cyclohexene reacts with h2so4 it forms the substituted component of cyclohexene when bromine is reacted with cyclohexene the addition of bromine atom will be taken place it gives dibromo substituted cyclohexane when cyclohexane reacts with kmno4 it forms the adipic acid so other synthetic evidences benzene could be constructed as a stride chain or ring structure it may have double bond or triple bonds but benzene does not behave like a alkenes and alkynes how we can say this point means so benzene it does not undergo addition reaction there is no reaction with bromine there is no reaction with kmno4 no reaction with water molecule that means benzene should not uh, should not undergo addition reaction that means benzene does not decolorize the bromine in ccl4 or in cold aqueous kmno4 so with this synthetic evidence we can say that benzene does not have in the stride chain it is in a cyclic structure so benzene does not having the stride chain stride chain structure is not possible for the benzene next we will see other evidences evidence of the cyclic structure and here i'll explain two examples mono substitution of the benzene and di substitution of the benzene first we will see mono substitution benzene uh, reacts with bromine in presence of febr3 then it forms the bromo benzene and febr3 it is used in a catalyst here in the electrophile it is bro br plus the detailed mechanism i'll explain in next lecture and likewise other examples only one chlorobenzene only one nitrobenzene will be formed when it undergoes substitution reaction so here you can see that when benzene is reacted with chlorine in presence of the catalyst fecl3 it is in a lewis acid acts as in a lewis acid and also it is in a catalyst then it forms the chlorobenzene and coming to the nitration of the benzene benzene reacts with hno3 in presence of h2so4 it forms the nitrobenzene and here the electrophile is nitronium ion this is an electrophile so with this synthetic evidences it indicates that all six hydrogen atoms in benzene were identical so all hydrogen atoms are identical this could be possible only if benzene had a cyclic structure of six carbons and to each carbon was attached to the one hydrogen then only mono substitution will be possible next coming to the next reaction addition of hydrogen 
addition of 3 moles of hydrogen to the benzene in presence of nickel as a catalyst to give the cyclohexane. So, benzene will be reacted with 3 moles of hydrogen in presence of nickel it gives the cyclohexane. So, with this evidence we can say that benzene has a cyclic structure. Our next, next reaction is disubstitution of benzene. Benzene yields 3 isomeric disubstitution products examples 3, iso, I, three isomeric dibromobenzenes. Here we can see the structures of the 3 isomeric dibromobenzenes. In the first one it is in a 1 comma 2 dibromobenzene. It is the first position. This is the second position. The third one um, 4, 5, 6. So here the adjacent substitutions. We can observe the adjacent substitutions. Whenever adjacent substitutions are present we can call it as ortho. So it is ortho dibromobenzene. Then the substitutions are separated by the one carbon atom. These are separated by the one carbon atom. Then it is known as metadibromobenzene. The substitutions are present in opposite direction. We can say it is in a paradibromobenzene. And here the doubt is for example 1 comma 2 dibromo isomers we will take 1 comma 2 dibromo isomers the bromine it may substitute at this place or the, the bromine it may substitute at this place so both structures are correct but when you observe the carbon atoms here the attachment of bromines at this place we can observe here the carbon atoms here it is double bonded carbon atoms and in this case we can observe that the carbon carbon attached with a single bond. So here we can observe two possible isomers are there for 1 comma 2 dibromo aromatic structures. Next one is coming to the Kekulase structure for the benzene. So, up to now we find out according to analytical evidences and synthetic evidences we find the molecular formula that is C6H6 and uh, it may be the cyclic structure. Now, the question will be arised here how these atoms are arranged. So, this arrangement of atoms will be explained by the scientist Kekule. And Kekule had one dream. The atoms are gambling like snake, twisting and twinnings will be taken place. But look at this structure. One of the snake had seized its own tie. So at that time Kekule had one idea. And the electrons which are present in the benzene ring will be delocalized like this. So, delocalization of electrons will be taken place from one place to another place. So, this is the dream of the Kekule. And in 1865, August Kekule suggested that benzene consisted of the planar, cyclic planar structure of 6 carbon atoms with alternate double bonds and single bonds. Each carbon was attached to one hydrogen atom. So generally we will say that it is 1 comma 3 comma 5 cyclohexatriene. So in this structure you can find out the structure of the benzene and here alternate double bonds are present. So this is a single bond and it is in a double bond and again it is a single bond again here it is double bonds and again here it is single bond. And because of delocalization of electrons from this place to this place, we will get the another canonical form. So, these two structures are known as canonical forms and the hybrid, um, this structure, this structure is known as hybrid structure of the benzene. 
देन ऑब्जेक्शन फॉर केकुलेस स्ट्रक्चर फॉर बेंजेन यर मेनली टू ऑब्जेक्शन आर देर वन ऑब्जेक्शन विल बी ओवरकम एंड अनदर द सेकंड ऑब्जेक्शन देर इज नो एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर द सेकंड ऑब्जेक्शन फर्स्ट वी विल सी द फर्स्ट वन इफ केकुलेस स्ट्रक्चर वॉज करेक्ट अज्यूम दट टू isomers of dibromobenzene should be formed so it should give the addition product addition product means it give the it should give two isomers of the dibromobenzenes this is like uh, benzene reacts with two moles of the bromine moiety in presence of fbr3 it gives this is the one isomer this is the second isomer a and b but here we can get only one dibromobenzene that means only one ortho dibromobenzene could be prepared so this objection will be overcome by the kekulese another point that is the benzene was a mixture of two forms that is one and two forms this two this mixture will be present in a rapid equilibrium so that's why we are representing this structures with double headed arrow this two structures will be present in a rapid equilibrium thereby the possibility is the only the formation of one ortho dibromo benzene and another objection that is kekulese structure failed to explain why benzene did not give the addition reactions like other alkenes it is also one of the cyclic alkene but it does not undergoes the addition reaction the examples we seen in previous slides that is benzene did not react with hbr or bromine so this kekulese structure failed to explain this point next coming to the resonance in the benzene and here two or more structures can be written for a substance which involve identical positions of atoms is called resonance so here you can observe the structures or we can write two structures for benzene which involve the identical positions and different structures so these are the ro different resonance structures the actual structure for the molecule is said to be resonance hybrid and uh, this is the actual structure for the benzene and we can say it is an a resonance hybrid the alternative structures are referred to as an a resonance structures these structures are known as resonance structures to represent this resonance we can use the double headed arrow the resonance hybrid is more stable than any of its contributing structures for benzene the stability is due to the resonance and because of the formation of the pi bonds so it will be having resistance towards the uh, towards the addition reaction and uh, probably it undergoes substitution reactions this explains lack of the reactivity of the benzene towards the addition reaction spectroscopic measurements shows that benzene is planar and all carbon carbon single bonds are all carbon carbon bonds are equal in length that means uh, the length between carbon carbon it is 1.40 angstroms so in generally in all canes the carbon carbon single bond length is 1.54 angstroms in case of all canes carbon carbon double bond length is 1.34 angstroms so this diagram will represents the bond length between the carbon carbon atoms if it is alkane so the bond length is 1.54 if it is alkene double bonded double bond is the so bond length is 1.34 angstroms in the case of benzene the bond length between the carbon and carbon it is exactly 
397 angstroms we can say it is in a 1.40 angstroms so with this we can say that the carbon carbon bonds in benzene neither not single bonds or not double bonds the value is lies between the carbon carbon single bond and carbon carbon double bond so next coming to the molecular orbital structure of the benzene all six carbon atoms in benzene were sp2 hybridized so each corner represents the carbon atoms all the carbon atoms are undergoes sp2 hybridization the sp2 hybrid orbitals overlap with each other and also overlap with s orbitals of the six hydrogen atoms forming the carbon carbon and carbon hydrogen sigma bonds so here we can see that two carbon atoms are the carbon carbon the carbon atom it undergoes hybridization and it forms the sp2 hybrid orbitals and this overlap with each other and it forms the sp2 sp2 hybridization and it is in a, the bond it is sigma bond likewise the carbon it is having another sp2 hybrid orbital and hydro it undergoes overlap with hydrogen it overlap with hydrogen that means s orbital and it forms the sp2 hyphen s sigma bond that is and, and here it is there no sigma sp2 s hybridization will be taken place all sigma bonds in benzene align in one plane and the bond angles are 120 degrees here we can observe that the bond angle between carbon and carbon bond angle between carbon and carbon it is 120 degrees and bond angle between carbon and hydrogen also 120 degrees each carbon atom in benzene it possesses an unhybridized p orbital it containing one electron in sky blue color we can observe the unhybridized p orbital this is an unhybridized p orbital this p orbitals are perpendicular to the plane of the sigma bonds and you know this green color represents the sigma bonds and uh, this unhybridized p orbital is present perpendicularly the lateral overlap of this p orbitals it produces the pi molecular orbital having six electrons and uh, here the p orbitals unhybridized p orbitals having the six electrons so you can observe here these are the unhybridized p orbitals so unhybridized p orbitals overlap with each other overlap with each other and it produces the pi molecular orbital having the six electrons here we can find out the six delocalized electrons and it forms the pi molecular orbital half of the pi bond will be absorbed above the plane half of the pi bond will be absorbed at below the plane and it is in a pi bonding in benzene with unhybridized p orbitals the six electrons of the p orbitals cover all the six carbon atoms these are said to be delocalized it results a stronger pi bond and it is in a more stable compound it produce more stable compound next coming to the resonance energy of benzene benzene's special stability is due to the formation of the delocalized pi molecular orbital the magnitude of extra stability of benzene can be estimated by measuring the changes in heat of hydrogenation so with this diagram we can explain how benzene had extra stability so it is in a catalytic hydrogenation of benzene 
and some cyclic compounds. The hydrogenation of cyclohexene. Cyclohexene example here I take an isolated alkene. Isolated one of the alkene. When isolated alkene or cyclohexene it undergoes hydrogenation it produce minus 28.6 kilocalories energy and we will take second example cyclohexadiene cyclohexadiene under the cyclohexadiene the example isolated diene so here the double bonds are isolated we can observe in the structure these are isolated so when cyclohexadiene undergoes hydrogenation it produce minus 57.4 kilocalories energy so when you see that the first value it is a this second value will be double so we can say it is in a 2 into minus 28.6 kilocalories per mole so when you observe observe that conjugated diene the example conjugated diene the double bonds alternate double bonds we can observe here so this type of the molecule is known as conjugated diene when conjugated diene cyclohexadiene it undergoes hydrogenation it produces energy minus 55.4 kilocalories so when compared with the isolated diene conjugated diene produce some the energy level will be decreased here so this one we we, we call it as resonance energy because of the resonance energy this conjugated diene is somewhat stable when compared to the isolated diene next we will see another example benzene cyclohexatriene we will call it as cyclohexatriene it contains three alternative double bonds so generally we will uh, predict that value that is minus 85.8 kilocalories that means uh, three times more value so that is uh, 28.6 kilocalories into 3 it gives the 85.8 kilocalories but uh, when this cyclohexatriene it undergoes hydrogenation it produce minus 49.8 kilocalories so the difference between the predicted value and gained value the difference between these two it is 36 kilocalories so this 32 6 kil, uh, 36 kilocalories resonance energy will be added to the benzene to give the extra stability to the benzene that's why we will call it as the unusually stable component is in a benzene so the magnitude of aromatic stabilization it is 36 kilocalorie per mole and this figure represents the catalytic hydrogenation of benzene and some cyclic compounds thank you one and all